so I thought I'd actually walk you through me building my entire new program. So I'm doing a six day a week program. Uh, I'm hoping to work out six days a week. And it's the same three workouts repeated twice for four weeks. And so I'll show you how I build that. Basically, there's going to be 24 programs or 24 plans in total. Um, but I'll show you how I kind of how I kind of build it out and structure it um, and, and make it as seamless as possible, building it out and delivering it here. So I, you can see I opened up Quick Coach. So I'll come over here into plans. You'll see I pop over to program templates. Now I'm going to build a new template. That's basically just I'm, I'm going to call it whatever I want, but like basically program starts. And the reason for that is once I actually have this idea, this 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 program starts then what I can do is I can build the start of my program to drop in and start any of the plans with that. So you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to create a plan in here. And what I want in terms of uh, the actual variables is rep, sets, rest, and RPE. Now, again, you could customize this to wherever you want. That just works for me with what I'm doing. Um, John's uh, four week plan doesn't really matter now what I'm doing here is I'm actually building up the template that I'm gonna drop in and start all of my other plans with because all of my plans have the same general format and a very similar similar warm-up so I'm gonna start with um, uh, just a heading that I will call warm-up okay so that's the heading now I'm gonna just put in um, you know stationary bike just five minutes I just feel like a general warm-up is always good. And then um, what I do here is I just superset. I, I do the same kind of mobility warm-up each time. Sometimes I'll do it twice through. Depending on the workout, I might change one or two of the things, but it's generally what works for me to get into the flow. So I just superset four things. So I'll just drop in four um, supersets in here. So kneeling, thoracic spine. So you'll see some of these already added in. Bent over T raises. Um, hip adductor, okay, and uh, reverse lunge, elbow to instep. Um, I'll do about 10 reps on each, so copy that over each one. And then it's just, you know, one set. But again, I might do two if, uh, if I feel like it. And I don't really need to write in the rest, but I'll do that just to, just to show you. And there's no RPE for this. It doesn't really matter. Um, then what I do is I come over and I'll just create another heading strength training and I'm actually going to save it actually what I'll do is then normally my programs have three supersets uh, of two exercises each so all that I'll do is I'll just create these supersets right you see what I'm doing and I'm just going to leave these blank because this is what I'm going to um, this is what I'm going to be filling in so I'll remove these now what I also do is I have the same kind of general rest and RPE for uh, all of my programs. So basically week one, um, I'm doing three sets and RPE is around eight. Week two was four sets, RPE eight. Week three is gonna be four sets, RPE nine. Week four is four sets, RPE 9.5. So I progress based off of volume and then intensity over the course of the four weeks. And then I might change up the exercises, I might keep them the same depending on how I'm progressing. And, um, and I can check the past performance, look at how I'm progressing and stuff like that. And so what I'll write in here is not the specific of the exercise or even the reps, because that might change a little bit workout to workout. But what I'm going to write in here is the beginning of the actual plan itself, because I know that when I start to build this, right, everything is going to be three sets to start, is going to have um, about the same rest for each. So I'm going to go 75 seconds. Uh, for the first two and then 60 seconds. This is how I just build my programs, right? Yours might be a little bit different. And then um, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, because basically I work with like the big movers and the big multiple joint stuff that takes, you know, a lot of energy, needs a bit more rest at the beginning. And then as I go uh, near the end of the workout, I'm going more um, isolation type stuff. And again, the RPE is going to be eight because uh, this is going to be, this template is for my week one uh, program. Cool. So all that I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to publish this 
And then I'm going to go and I'm going to assign this to a client. So the client's going to be me, add it to a client. Cool. Now I can go over to me, right? We've got this John's four week plan in there. I'm going to go and I'll work on this first because uh, it's in drafts, right? And so you can see everything that I just built is in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build the first actual workout uh, to go here for week one. So. Uh, my exercise one is going to be the Romanian deadlift. Now, some of the exercises I'm going to have in my library, some of them I'm going to add. So Romanian deadlift. Um, number two, I'm going to superset this. So this is um, actually going to be, I'll say, uh, week one, um, one, because I'm repeating the workouts, legs plus shoulders. And then this is phase two, actually, because I've done a program like this already. So I'm just going to name it this kind of convention and you'll see how that builds uh, as I go. So, um, so I'm going to do, um, Poliquin single arm, uh, press. I just like this movement a lot. Now this isn't in my library, so I'm going to add it. Okay. And we'll go six to eight reps and we will go eight to 10 reps. And you see the stuff is already built in for me because I, I loaded it next up Bulgarian split squats. And um, uh, rear delts, fly machine, and then the same type of thing. I'm just going to write in uh, the uh, actual reps itself. And then we'll go calf raise. And I'm actually going to split up this superset. And the reason for that is I'm just changing up the way that this program works because the first time that I did it, I didn't like the superset. It felt nasty. Uh, so I'm going to go calf raise by itself. This actually um, doesn't need to be in the superset. So calf raise. And that's going to be 12 to 15. That's going to be uh, three sets with a 30 second break in between. And then here I'm going to add in uh, a lat raise and this is going to be a six by six. So this is just a different loading scheme and there's only one set of it and then I'll be done the workout. So I don't need to write in the rest. Cool. So that's actually done now. So you see this workout is now published. What I can now do is I can go and I can either copy this, right? Or I can just load in that template again from before. So I'm just going to go back to program templates. Uh, you'll see we've got program starts and I'm going to assign this to myself and I could have done this at the beginning, right? Assign this twice um, to myself so that I have the beginner stuff to work off of. So now I come back into me and you will see, right? I've got these. So what I'm going to do now is I can just rename them right on the front. Week one, one, that's still the same. And this is going to be uh, chest and back. Uh, and this is going to be week one, one, and it is, what is it? Arms and core. And so, so then I'll just go through and I'll add in the exercises the same way as I did before. Now you'll notice again, uh, my warm up's the same, but what I generally will do is I'll alter the warm up a little bit depending on the workout. So I'm going to remove this reverse lunge and I'm just going to do a high, uh, cable, I don't know. It's probably the wrong technical name for it, but high cable pole, like a like a like a high pole, same type of thing, right? And then strength training comes, and um, we've got incline barbell press for six to eight. Same type of thing. Three sets, seventy-five seconds rest at an eight RPE, and I'm going to go a bench supported dumbbell row, and that will also be, and we'll call that eight to ten go a little bit lighter on that um, incline dumbbell uh, bah, 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 alternating press and that's going to be 10 to 12 the, the the problem with the gym that I work at is they don't have heavy enough dumbbells so I've got to do uh, alternating presses to increase the time under tension um, lat pull down uh, medium grip perfect okay 10 to 12 and then we've got chest fly machine 12 to 15 and inverted row and that's going to be uh, 15. Perfect. Okay. And um, I want to make sure that this is actually in my exercise library. So if I don't see that symbol here, 
well, then I want to make sure that I add it. And if the symbols here, what that means is that the performance is actually going to be tracked at that exercise and you'll be able to see it in the past performance and you'll be able to see past. And then uh, when you go and view the workout, so I can view this as a client, what you will see is um, any, any last performances, if I've performed that exercise before, will show underneath. So you see incline bogo press, the last time that I performed that now shows actually underneath. Um, that exercise itself. I haven't done the bench supported row before, so there's no last performance. And so whenever there is a last performance, um, it will show to me or I mean, to the client. All right, okay, that's saved. And then I'll come in here and I'm going to alter this uh, for arms and core and do the same type of thing, All right? Well, I'm filling in the exercises. So seated, dumbbell bicep curls, um, six to eight, Right, ab rollouts, and that's going to be, uh, oops, let me make sure I add that, and that's going to be, um, we'll go 8 to 10 on there, and we're going to do dumbbell triceps extensions, add that, 10 to 12, and then um, suitcase, uh, where we got, suitcase carries, Add that, and that's just going to be 50 to 60 feet, basically. I just know how long it is in the gym that I work at. Um, low probably easy butt curl, cool. And then I'm going to do a um, side hold for 30 seconds. Okay, it's kind of hard to type, but at the same time as talking and trying to concentrate and making this uh, make sense for you all watching. Um, and then this arms and core, what, what I like to do sometimes with this is I'm going to add a conditioning element here um, just to be able to get it in. So I'm just going to add conditioning um, optional and I'll add one more row and that's just going to be um, a lower and I'll show you how I progress that as well. But at the beginning, it's going to be 45 seconds uh, for six with a 90 second. So basically like rowing intervals. Um, okay, so now you'll notice that I've got my week one programs already set up here. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is just to copy this stuff and repeat it because if you remember, I'm actually doing 24 different uh, workouts in this phase. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to reuse the selected plans. And it copies it to drafts because we, we assume that if you copy the plans, you're going to want to make a little bit of an edit to it, right? So here, the actual plans themselves are going to stay the same because basically I repeat each workout twice before, um, before advancing them in some way. But I will designate by just changing the title, right? Week one, version two. And then I can just take all these and I'm just going to move them to upcoming. So you can see now, I've already got my first six workouts in here. So week one, week one, week one, you know, workouts one, week one, workouts two, phase two. Now I'm going to show you how I progress these workouts. So what I'll do is I'll just take all of these now and I'm going to reuse every single one of them. And I'm just going to come in here and I will say uh, week two, right? I'm just going to change the names first. Week two. And then week two, week two, week two. And then what I'll do is I'll just come in here and I'm going to edit them. Now, remember what I said, where the way that I, I progress workouts, and this is just me, you might progress workouts different ways, is I don't change the exercises over the course of a phase. What I do is I first increase the volume, then I increase the intensity. So increasing the volume um, week one to week two, I'm just going to go four sets instead of three. So all that I do. So I'll just come in through here. Um, that's still going to be one. And I'm going to publish that one. Okay, come into the next. And I'm going to do the same type of thing. Right. And just change the sets themselves. So this is me building an entire plan um, for a month of training, six workouts a week for myself. But I mean, I'm basically considering myself as the client. <laughs> okay, publish that plan. And I'll come in here. And I actually could have done this a more efficient way. And I will show you how I do that uh, next time for the next week. But 
coming in here and just changing all of these to right week four week four week four and we'll do this one more time So now you'll see my published plans. I have my first 12 workouts that I can see all. And you'll see I have week one, week two, two. And from here, there's my 12 workouts, right? Week one, one, week one, two, week two, one, and week two. And then it just keeps going and going. So now what I can do is I can actually take these next programs and I can start to copy them. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to take uh, week two, one, week two, one, week two, one, and I'm going to go and I'm going to reuse these selected plans again. And I'm going to repeat the process, but this time I'm going to increase the RPE of them. So again, week three, one, right? I'll change the name first. And I'll come in here. And remember I said that the RPE goes from eight to nine. So I know that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna increase the intensity, basically um, work a little bit harder <laughs> as I'm doing this. Okay, I'm just gonna save that draft because I'll show you how to do this a little bit more efficiently. Come into the next one, change this, because every time that you copy a, 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 an actual plan itself, what CoCoach does is it creates a totally brand new version of it. So altering these templates is not going to alter the original ones. Okay. Save draft. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to take these, say reuse them. It's going to copy me again. And because I've already made the changes, right, and I'm going to repeat this, all that I'm going to do is just change the name. And then what I can actually do, so why don't I just publish these? Boom, boom, boom to upcoming. So you see now I have 18 plans. You see how quick it is to just fill these all out. So now I'm just gonna do my fourth week and it's actually the exact same process where I change the RPE. So same type of thing. I'm just gonna grab uh, whichever one of the week three, week three, week three. Um, we use, okay, I've come in here and then I'll change this to week four, week four, and week four. Come in here, and remember I said that it's just going to be RPE 9.5, so 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, okay, and I'll save that and go into the next. Now keep in mind, if I wanted to, I could easily put in, um, obviously videos and audio and task. This is my workout, so I'm not going to do that because um, I don't need them. But if you were doing this for a client, it might be saved. Like you can see that these, I actually don't know what videos are here. It might just be test ones. Yeah, so these were just test videos because, you know, I really don't care. But um, you can see by these symbols that there's video and written notes uh, associated with it. So that of course saves to your task library. So anytime you load in an exercise or any in there, uh, it will auto load up. Cool, so that's done. I'm gonna repeat that same process. I'm going to uh, click reuse those plans, right? And then just change the name because I'm gonna repeat. So depending on how you wanna actually progress the workouts and stuff like that, obviously that part might change. But I wanted to show you this to just show you how quick and seamless it is to completely customize and build an entire month of training. So you can see now all of my workouts right, are built and are ready to go for the next month. Hope that helps you.